Good evening and welcome to Newswatch 12 Weekend. I'm Georgina Fernandez. We'll get to all those stories in a bit, but first, we've been experiencing some severe weather in parts of Wisconsin. More after weather on its way over tonight. For more, we turn over to Andrew K. Kafer for details. Yeah, Georgina, like you said, we did have some active weather today that did include some severe thunderstorms and even some tornado warnings. So we'll have those verified in the next couple of days. Overnight tonight, the main concern will be some flooding due to that excessive rainfall that some areas did experience. Uh, La Crosse getting at least five inches of rain today. So uh, definitely a big concern as we head into our Sunday. Uh, be prepared for uh, maybe some urban flooding as we had throughout the day. Uh, now looking at that thunderstorm outlook that we've had today, uh, we did have that slight marginal and uh, non-severe risk for that severe weather. Seeing most of that activity landing in that yellow shaded region uh, tonight. But now coming up tomorrow, we will still have a risk for marginal uh, thunderstorms. So that marginal risk for severe weather is gonna be into tomorrow, uh, most likely more in the morning than later on in the day. And now here we go looking at your three day forecast coming on up. We do have thunderstorm chances to start off the work week. And when we keep up that humidity until middle parts of next week, drying off and cooling off by Thursday. Georgina. Thanks, Andy. Our star Rylanders celebrated their 10th anniversary tonight, shutting down King Street for the big party. Newswatch 12 Cooper Henkel dropped by the vote and has events. I'm catching up with volunteers here at the party at Old and New to find out what's kept them going for the last decade and what they hope the next one will bring. There were a hundred yeah. people that met downtown and said, we want an art center and we want the city to pay a dollar for art start. What we needed was an art center where we could have performing art, we could have music, we could have exhibits. The variety of artists and the range of artists that we might not ordinarily get to see here in northern Wisconsin, uh, that we do. I love how landmark this building is. I, I, I love how they've redesigned it. I love the galleries. I love how the exhibits rotate in and out. It's. It's truly the, the centerpiece of the community. People know that this is a great place to come, experience the arts, the music, the culture, and feel at home with a new family. After I've seen the art and leave, I know that the world's gonna be okay. It just makes me feel good, and it's the place we, it's what all museums do, but we have it here in Rhinelander with just a treasure. It just has enhanced the quality of life for those of us that live here and for our visitors. For News Watch 12, I'm Cooper Henkel. For the past two weeks, people across the world have had the opportunity to watch some of the world's top athletes competing at the Olympics. And for some folks, that might be motivating them to be more active. A Sports and Fitness Industry Association research study shows a positive correlation between Olympic coverage and the increase in physical activity. But Lifetime Fitness in Rylander says they have not seen an increase in gym goers since the start of the Olympics. I tend to think that the Olympics makes people more motivated to watch TV than to come work out. Skull Sky says they have not seen an increase in gym participants since the start of the Olympics. Instead, she says they have noticed a change in the gym's workout culture throughout the pandemic. We've seen a lot of shift from like aesthetic goals to a lot more of like mental health, physical health goals. Um, a lot of people are wanting to, to feel better, have more energy, maybe even um, decrease anxiety, depression. Scott Sky says the gyms can be a positive influence to help people achieve those goals. She says that it is, it is a judgmental and safe space for people to find the social support while working out. And golf lovers kept active at the 40th Annual Athletic Booster Club's five-person scramble. The event bring golfers and volunteers together at the Rhinelander Golf Course to raise money for youth sports. Newswatch 12 Lily Zoller reports. The Athletic Booster Club's annual five-person scramble was back on Saturday. The yearly golf tournament is the Booster Club's largest fundraiser of the year, raising money for youth and high school athletics. It's an easy thing to care for and easy thing to give back to. It's, it's just such an amazing event that um, it takes care of itself. It's community supports it a ton. Coaches and athletes made it out to the tournament to show their appreciation. Officials say it is because of events like these that allows athletes to keep playing the sports they love. John Cons, the Rhinelander Country Club general manager and head golf professional, says the event is more than just enjoyable. Sports are incredibly important. Uh, gives people an activity to do 
you know, to, uh, to help keep in shape, to help, uh, you know, not have as much idle time. This is an opportunity for golfers to show their support for the next generation. It's vitally important that uh, we take care of today's youth and do what we can to give them the best opportunities they can have. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the Booster Golf Scramble, which Caraba says he hopes will raise between ten and $12,000 for youth sports. To have something for 40 years at the same place, the same venue, the staff and the course is amazing. Everybody supports it so much. It's it, yeah, you just can't complain. It's just awesome here. So This Rhinelander tradition is based on support from community members and sponsors. Organizers say the event wouldn't be possible without their hard work. It was always my favorite tournament of the year. I uh, kind of marked it on the calendar before the year started, and, uh, and when the day's over, I get a little bit depressed because uh, it's such a fun day. In Rhinelander, Lily Zoller, Newswatch 12. According to the CDC, more than 44,000 Americans are currently hospitalized due to COVID-19. As the Delta variant provoked this weekend a new milestone, we'll get you caught up after the break. Lake of the Torches Resort Casino. You can count on us for all the hottest slots inside. Sun dappled water outside. Enjoyment comes naturally here with abundant home style foods, the most exciting promotions, and the new Lake Club that rewards you for playing. At Lake of the Torches Resort Casino, expect the best of everything every time you visit. Winning's more fun at the lake. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work, or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Why did we get her the COVID-19 vaccine for kids 12 and up? Because I miss school. To get ready for soccer season. So nothing's holding them back. Visit vaccines.gov to find a COVID-19 vaccine near you. Or call 211 to learn more. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Get 2,500 purchase cash on 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. Huge auction, Mass City, Michigan. Sunday, August 15th. Tractors, John Deere, Gator, tools, sporting goods, home contents, antiques, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Take it away, boys. The latest weather updates. Weather Watch 12. Weather from where you live. We made it to the end of a soggy Saturday all around the Badger State. Looking at some of those estimated rainfall reports, seeing most of that rain landing today in La Crosse, picking up over half, uh, over five inches of rain, nearly six inches of rain. Outlying areas getting at least an inch of rain, but you'll notice uh, far north woods receive less than an inch of rain. Ryan Lander at half an inch and Green Bay at about a third of an inch of rain. So uh, definitely a lot of rain towards southwestern Wisconsin today. And looking at some of those flood photos that we did see today. Uh, cars getting stuck in those roadways in La Crosse, so it's a good reminder that uh, you want to turn around, don't drown, uh, as they say, just making sure that you're not attempting anything like this, taking on uh, those flood conditions, because we do have those flood concerns overnight into tomorrow, and with more rain on the way, we could be talking about extended uh, flooding potential into the day on Sunday. So otherwise, there were some reports of funnel clouds and possible tornadoes in southwest Wisconsin, and this did lead to even damage 
damaging some buildings out there with strong winds uh, that were going through earlier on this afternoon around dinner time. And there were reports of hail as well. Uh, some of that getting almost to an inch in diameter and size. Otherwise, more wind damage going off towards the Fox Valley area, seeing that taking down uh, power lines. So there were some power outages reported today. And then otherwise, wind gusts getting upwards of 50 plus miles an hour this afternoon, uh, still causing more damage uh, to properties around the area. So coming up now on our Sunday, we're not out of the clear just yet. There will be some thunderstorms redeveloping later on tonight into the morning. And then we might get a bit of a break during the day with some redevelopment uh, later on into our later Sunday. So you'll see a marginal risk for any sort of severe thunderstorms, mostly in central and southern areas of Wisconsin, north woods and far northwest Wisconsin in that non-severe risk. Still getting some rainfall though. And tomorrow we'll be concerned about some damaging winds, kind of like we experienced today. And hail, yet again, we could be having some large size hail dropping in uh, this kind of darker green area coming up on our Sunday. So looking ahead here at the rest of our night into Sunday morning, uh, we're going to get a little bit of a break in the action overnight with some redevelopment uh, off towards Green Bay. We're going to see that early on on our Sunday morning. So it'll be kind of a soaky uh, start to the day and with some thunderstorms. But then as we get into later parts of the morning to early afternoon, we'll trade that for mostly some heavy rainfall tracking into the UP. And we'll get a break during the day with uh, that rain and take that with mostly cloudy skies. But then more redevelopment will be happening later on in the day. So in summary tonight, we have thunderstorms, rain, and expect some fog to develop late into overnight as well. Low temperatures down into the low to middle 60s. And consistent wind speeds will be in at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Uh, breezier in any thunderstorms. And then for our Sunday, it'll be kind of a dreary day all around with gray skies. Uh, rain showers and thunderstorms expected throughout the day. Some of those starting stronger in the morning, getting that bit of a break in the early afternoon. And that will be with high temperatures a little bit warmer, getting up to those upper 70s. And now for a look at your extended forecast brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. We'll show several more days with rain and thunderstorm chances, but then check out Thursday. Thursday, we dropped to a slight rain chance, and after that, we're drying on out Friday and Saturday, and we're having relieving temperatures with lower humidity in those middle 70s up to 80 degrees. Georgina? Thanks, Andy. The COVID-19 pandemic reached a new milestone on Saturday. The U.S. is now averaging 100,000 new confirmed infections daily, ex exceeding last winter surge when the U.S. peaked at 250,000 cases daily in early January before bottoming out in late June. Health experts say the highly contagious Delta variant is causing the surge and is spreading quickly through unvaccinated people. Meanwhile, Missouri ICUs are filling up with COVID-19 patients. Mercy Springfield reports that 51% died in July. Shoshana Stahl brings us those details. That's a staggering number. If that doesn't get your attention, I'm not sure what will. None of the ICU patients at Mercy this month have been vaccinated. So far in August, 17 people have died from COVID-19 at Mercy Springfield. Mercy President and COO Brent Hubbard says these statistics are concerning. Our numbers remain extremely high, again, beyond uh, the initial COVID surge back in November, December timeframe, uh, well beyond those numbers. Cox Health is reporting that 20% of the hospitalized patients are in critical condition. Chief Hospital Officer Karen Kramer says vaccination is crucial to getting those numbers down. Unfortunately, the people who are hospitalized with COVID are by and large not vaccinated. Our most recent data shows about 97% of our COVID pneumonia admissions were not vaccinated. But there is a treatment being offered at Jordan Valley to help keep people who test positive for the virus out of the hospital, the monoclonal antibody infusions. According to the manufacturer, MABS has been shown to significantly reduce the risk of hospitalization or death by 70%. Since the start of the infusions being offered in Springfield, 183 people have been treated. Jordan Valley is now expanding the program to its clinics in Lebanon and Hollister. There is no cost to patients. The treatment is available for those who are at high risk for developing extreme COVID-19 symptoms. A couple of former Packers will be immortalized this weekend. Charles Woodson and Bobby Dillon are now members of the NFL Hall of Fame. We'll show you some of their career highlights in Green Bay, that and more after the break. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. 
premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Get 2,500 purchase cash on 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. Why choose People State Bank? Every one of those tellers know me. And they're always so friendly to me. It's just a pleasant experience every time I go through there. That is just a great start to the day. You have to have that trust and the friendship in order to do business with a person. You get treated with great respect, and it's just a great bank to deal with. Make people's your choice. Voted Best Bank and Best Mortgage Company in Marathon County. Stop by a location today or visit us online at bankpeoples.com. You don't have to postpone feeling your best. Now's the time to take excellent care of your health with Aspirus. We have all the right protective measures in place, so there's no need to delay important screenings and procedures. Can't leave home? Aspirus offers flexible care options from your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit Aspirus.org to schedule today and learn more about the steps we're taking to protect your health. Because we love, we lead. Aspirus. At Toyota's national sales event, we don't just help you get the perfect vehicle. We're here to open new doors that lead to your road to greatness. Your journey starts at Toyota's national sales event. Right now, you can get 2.49% APR financing for 60 months, plus 750 TFS APR cash on a new 2021 Camry, RAV4, or Highlander. Toyota, let's go places. At WJFW, our News Watch 12 News team works around the clock to bring you the news that matters most of all to the Northwoods. Our team is committed to the community and ensuring that you are as informed as possible. NBC News Watch 12, news from where you live. Sports Watch 12 with Griffin Stroin starts now. This weekend series against the Giants will tell us a lot about this Brewers team, especially since San, San Francisco is a team that Milwaukee can expect to see in the postseason. Brandon Woodruff on the mound for the Brewers. He had eight strikeouts, only gave up one run. But this game will go to extra innings, and it's because of this play. Milwaukee had a one-run lead heading into the ninth. Tommy LaStella hits one high, and somehow Avi Garcia doesn't come down with it. Not sure why. This game is tied at two apiece, and like I said, we would go to extras. Uh, Brewers find themselves down three in the bottom of the 10th. Luis, Luis Urias is going to make it a one-run game after this two-run blast. And then a few batters later, it's Willie Adames. I mean, how is this game tied? It felt like it was going on forever. But Brandon Belt and the Giants, they just somehow weren't going to lose this game. This home run is going to seal the deal. Milwaukee drops game two, 9-6, the final. Football was back in Lambeau Field on Saturday. The Packers hosted their annual family night in Green Bay. The event was canceled last year due to COVID-19, so the fans were especially ready for the scrimmage. It took them a little longer to begin due to some bad weather in Green Bay, but that did not stop thousands of fans from seeing their favorite team. Hey, Aaron Rodgers, he looks pretty good on connecting on many throws of 50-plus yards. The NFL season is coming very soon. Now, while the current Packers squad is getting ready for this season, one former great is getting ready for his Hall of Fame ceremony. Charles Woodson received his gold jacket on Friday night, and it looks pretty dang good on him. Woodson was voted into the Hall of Fame the first ballot, and he's the 32nd member of the organization to be selected into the Hall of Fame. They will officially unveil his bust on Sunday night in Canton. And Woodson isn't the only former Packer making the Hall of Fame this weekend. The late Bobby Dillon was a part of the 2020 Hall of Fame class that was inducted Saturday night. Dylan played for the Packers from 1952 until 1959. And in those eight seasons, he earned four first-team All-Pro honors. And he intercepted 52 passes, which is still a pa Packers franchise record to this day. Dylan passed away in 2019 at the age of 89. The world champions have been really busy this offseason. They've already re-signed Bobby Portis and traded for Grayson Allen. Now they've signed three more players to their roster. George Hill is returning to Milwaukee. The 35-year-old played in 106 games for the Bucks over two seasons with the team. Uh, Shemi Olege is coming to the Midwest after playing the past four seasons for the Boston Celtics. The 26-year-old only averaged 4.6 points last season. And finally, Rodney Hood was the last player to be signed. Hood has had a roller coaster of an NBA career at his peak. 
He averaged nearly 17 points a game back in 2018, but last year he only played in 17 games, averaging four points per game. And on Friday night, the men's U.S. basketball team captured their fourth straight Olympic gold. The team consisted of two Bucks, Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton, and they made some major history. They are just the fifth and sixth players to ever win the NBA championship and Olympic gold in the same year. The last two players to do that were also teammates. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen did it in 1992. That's a pretty great company to be with. And that's all I have in sports. We'll be right back after the break. Here's the thing. When you create a network as a local, you know the dead spots, so you fix them. You know the neighbors, so you're good to them. Did you drop these? You know the strongest signal comes from starting local and staying loyal, no matter how much you grow. The nationwide network built from your town up. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. No trade-in required or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find new summer adventures. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on select popular Chevy SUVs. Plus, get interest-free financing for 72 months when you finance with GM Financial. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, but you get the gifts. Get a complimentary four-night hotel stay at over 400 great hotels. Plus an extra 20% off when you spend $3,000 or more. You get more nights and more savings the more you spend. Get a two-night hotel stay plus an extra 10% off when you spend just $1,000. So go ahead, get that new furniture and the trip. Well, hello, Slumberland. Buy more, save more, and get the trip. Now at Slumberland. From jet engines to bike engines, a record 16 trucks were lined up at the Rapid City Regional Airport with a collection of bikes waiting to be reunited with their owners. Megan Mowart reports. It's always been on our bucket list. Tracy McEnroe um, and her husband will check off the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally this year, and they plan to make the most of it. How? Their bike was here waiting for them as they walked off the plane, flying into Rapid City Regional Airport from Cape Cod. It would take us a week to get out here and a week to get home. We want all the time here to ride. Robert Cullen has been trucking in bikes to Rapid City for 28 years. Way back then, we came in a dually pickup truck with a small trailer, probably only about maybe... 10 bikes. Now he's up to two trailers, one loaded with 30 bikes and the other with 28 from around the East Coast. I always say it takes a month because by the time you get ready, settled, pick up all the bikes, unload out here, wait for everything, reload, go empty and be done. It's, it's a lot. And basically we um, bring the motorcycle to him. Um, he's super organized. He packs it up the way basically you're picking them up. McEnroe says it would have cost twice as much for them to ride here than to just pack up the bike and fly. Avoiding a spike in gas prices, something Cullen could not ignore. We charged ten fifty This year we had to go up $100 because of the fuel and everything else, the tolls, stuff like that. You'll see the trucks parked at the airport until the bikes come back, the kickstands are down, and they throttle up in something different. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work, or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. 
premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Get 2,500 purchase cash on 2021 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional 250 purchase allowance. I think there are a lot of benefits to schooling our children from home. We get to spend a lot of time with them, and there are eureka moments, like seeing them walk for the first time, or they figure something out, and they're so excited about it. The RVA really does work with each family to individualize each child's education to help them really succeed. This is like the best thing in Wisconsin in terms of school. For us, the RVA was our first and best choice of schools to choose. We love the RVA. Stony Creek Home and Garden is your superior choice for outdoor furniture, along with our vast variety of shrubs, perennials, and flowers. Stony Creek only sells the highest quality products for your outdoor space. Stop into our gift shop and pick up a Northwoods gift for you or a special someone. Finish it off with a propane fireplace for those chilly summer evenings. From plants to patio furniture, our expert staff can assist you with all your needs. Stony Creek Home and Garden, just off Highway 51, Manaqua. Attention parents of student-athletes planning to participate in fall sports for your convenience. LVDHC has scheduled sports physical dates on August 3rd, 17th, and 24th. Call and schedule today. These days, news seems to come from all directions, and it can be overwhelming. Simplify your intake by watching News From Where You Live, WJFW, NBC News Watch 12. We deliver critical local and national news, sports highlights, and weather updates. Watch us daily on Channel 12. Visit us at WJFW.com or like us on Facebook. We are NBC News Watch 12. Welcome back to a final look at your forecast. If you are in a county that is highlighted in green right now, be concerned about flooding into our Sunday. So there are going to be areas of flooding overnight with having uh, those rainfall totals anywhere between two to five inches. And there is more rainfall on the way. So expect a few more thunderstorms overnight, mostly in central Wisconsin. And fog will develop late overnight as well with those low temperatures down into the muggy low to middle 60s. And then on Sunday, we'll have more rain and thunderstorm chances throughout the day kind of on and off and temperatures will be getting a few degrees warmer landing more in those uh, upper 70s to low 80s throughout the day that will be felt with plenty of humidity but now looking at that thunderstorm outlook coming up for our Sunday you'll notice we are not having a slight risk of severe weather like we had today downscaling that to a marginal risk mostly in central Wisconsin and the main concerns will be damaging winds and large hail so uh, don't let your guard down coming up on Sunday we'll have improvements throughout the week here we go for your final look at your forecast a few more thunderstorms chances into early parts of the week and we'll be having increasing temperatures changing our focus to uh, really warm feeling temperatures out there with those upper 80 some heat and disease upwards of 90 plus degrees so that's all we have coming on up for the forecast drying out into later parts of next week so stay inside stay inside for now yeah <laughs> say drive northwards have a good night